this is dr shankar ayer from department of physics i'm going to discuss uh, uh, module 3 of applied physics which is lasers and fiber optics in which i will discuss about the topic in uh, fiber optics which is block diagram of fiber optic communication system okay so a fiber optic communication system is very much similar to a traditional communication system and it has three major components whatever we know about the traditional communication system similar to the traditional communication system if you are using optical fiber in communication system it is similar to the traditional communication system and this optical fiber communication system has three major components so very important components are three in optical fiber communication system okay so the three major uh, components are important components of optical fiber communication system are transmitter optical fiber and receiver so these are the three important components in block diagram of optical fiber communication system okay so how is this uh, fiber optic communication system and what are the these three components where are they placed in the communication system so first we are going to launch the input what do you mean by input input is nothing but you have or you can have audio signal or you can have video signal so you want to basically or uh, you you want to send audio signal to your friend or you want to uh, send a video signal to your friend using this optical fiber communication system so what are the components that are present in this optical fiber communication system so that is what we are going to learn in this presentation very good. so I have audio signal for example and i am going to input this audio signal to this optical fiber communication system so the first to this audio signal will be given as input to this transmitter so the first component is here directly the input signal is given to the transmitter basically this transmitter consists of a drive circuit and there is also a light source we will see what is the what is the function of all these drive circuit and light source that is present in transmitter so this is the first component which is a transmitter and the second component is a optical fiber so once uh, we have given audio input to the transmitter the transmitter will deliver in deliver signal and that signal will be given as input to this optical fiber okay second component is optical fiber right so the light the signal will be propagated down to this optical fiber end and then the light signal that is received at the end will be given in as input to the third component which is a receiver okay so in the receiver there is a photo detector there is the amplifier and there is also a signal receiver restorer so once all all these components uh, does they function finally we are going to receive the output and this output is going to be audio signal whatever we are given as input signal if you have we have given here as an input signal for example you are going to receive the input audio signal if you have given video signal as input signal you are going to receive the video signal as input signal okay so let us see all these uh, let us see the functions of all these components that are present in fiber optic communication system a transmitter converts electrical signal to light signals what is the main function of the transmitter transmitter converts electrical signal to light signals the transmitter includes modulator encoder light source drive circuits and couplers basically the main function of the transmitter is that it is going to convert basically whatever information audio signal we have that is in, in the form of electrical signal that electric, electrical signal will be converted into light signal by transmitter so we know that this transmitter has encoder modulator and light source what is the main function of the light source light source is going to convert in this uh, electrical signal into light signal okay and there is going to be an encoder that encodes the signal whatever audio signal you have that signal will be encoded and um, encoded and it will it will be converted into a light signal right using all these components that are present in transmitter and optical fiber transmits the signal once you have converted the electrical signal into light signal that light signal will be given as input to this optical fiber and then the light signal will be propagated down Uh, through optical fiber and it will be received at the end of the optical fiber and then at the end of the optical fiber you have receiver so receiver captures the signals at the other end of the optical fiber and converts them into electrical signal okay first you have electrical signal first you have electrical signal first you have audio or video signal that will be encoded and it will be converted into electrical signal and this electrical signal will be converted into light signal using laser diode or led once you have light signal that will be so all this all this will be done in transmitter 
Once you have light signal that will be given as input to the optical fiber, so optical fiber will carry this light signal. So this is optical fiber. So then the optical fiber delivers the light signal and it will be connect. It will be given as input to the receiver. And this receiver, in receiver captures the signal at the other end of the fiber and converts them into electrical signal. So in a receiver we have a photo diode or photo detector. This photo de detector will convert a light signal into electrical signal converts uh, light signals from a light signal it will convert into electrical so this is done by photo detector or photo diode photo detector or photo diode so photo diode converts light say, uh, light signal into electrical signal and the receiver includes amplifier so uh, this signal what is called, uh, is present the signal will be amplified and there will be a decoding of the signal and uh, binary electrical signal and then you have a light decoder so basically once you have received this uh, light signal in the receiver the light signal has to be first converted into electrical signal and the electrical signal will be decoded and then finally it will be converted into a audio message whatever we give as input signal okay so that is why there are all components that are present in receiver the amplifier if we are going to amplify the signal what is whatever we received we are going to amplify the signal, so we need a amplifier, we need a decoder, we need a electrical binary electrical signal and light decoder so that we convert the light signal that is received at the end of the fiber. That light signal will be converted into electrical signal by a photo detector. So there should be a photo detector, okay? So photo detector, and once we convert, we we need to amplify. Once we convert into electrical signal, that signal should be amplified. So you need a amplifier. And once we amplify the signal, we need to decode the uh, electrical signal into um, information and then finally it will be given as audio signal. This uh, uh, is going to be done by a transducer, 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 right, let me write it, transducer. Transducer is an electrical component that will convert the electrical signal into it will convert electrical signal electrical signal into audio or video signal. So in both transmitter here also you need a transducer. Both in transmitter you need a transducer because in the beginning you are going to give audio signal as input signal. So transducer is the one which is going to convert audio signal into uh, electrical signal or it can convert video signal is also into electrical signal. So transducer is the component which can convert electrical signal into audio signal or audio signal or video signal into electrical signal. So we need this transducer in both transmitter as well as in the receiver. Okay. Yeah. So these are all the components that are present in transmitter and uh, receiver. So the transmitter consists of a light source supported by necessary drive circuits. A transducer converts a non-electrical message into an electrical signal and it is fed into a light source. Yeah, so we have that is what we have discussed. Transducer convert non-electrical message into electrical message and it is fed into a light source. The light source is a miniature source, either it can be light emitting diode or semiconductor laser. Yeah. In either of the case, light is emitted in infrared range with a wavelength of 850 nanometers to 1300 nanometers or 1550 nanometers. So the light waves that are modulated with the signal, modulated with the signal by varying the intensity of the light beam from the laser diode or LED, analog modulation is achieved. So analog modulation, you can have frequency modulation or you can have uh, amplitude modulation. So analog modulation uh, is uh, two types, frequency modulation and amplitude modulation. Okay. So this is the um, uh, earlier, uh, this is the more analog modulation is used in olden days. Now, currently, this analog modulation is replaced by digital modulation where all the information in the uh, is in the uh, form of binary digits. Okay. If you have amplitude modulation or in the form of a signal, the information is in the form of a signal, amplitude signal, uh, amplitude modulation, a uh, frequency modulation, right. So, you can, this is a bit. Uh, not good, uh, analog modulation is not uh, very good in the um, communication system. So now this analog modulation is replaced by digital modulation where you have um, the signal in the form of binary digits, zeros and ones, okay. If pulse of light represents the number one, 
and the absence of light represented a number zero. So the now the information which is audio or is video signal that is now converted into binary digits which are uh, which are uh, zeros and ones. If there is a light signal. The light signal, there is a binary digit is 1. If there is no light signal, that it will be given as 0. A message can be transmitted by a particular sequence of zeros and 1s. If the receiver is programmed to recognize, the receiver is programmed to recognize these digital patterns, then it can reconstruct whatever information you have given as input to the transmitter. So the transmitter feeds the digitally modulated light wave to the transmission channel namely optical fiber link, the optical signal traveling through the fiber will get attenuated progressively and distorted due to dispersion events. Okay, so the once you have given the light signal uh, that you have converted into um, a light signal and that light signal will be given as input to this fiber, right? So you have light signal here that will be given as input to the fiber so this is fiber so this light signal that is propagating through this optical fiber can be attenuated i mean there is can be a loss of signal attenuation right so and distorted due to the dispersion effect okay what do you mean by attenuation attenuation is loss of amplitude and distortion is loss of shape of the signal so attenuation is nothing but the uh, loss of amplitude of the signal okay and distortion is nothing but the change in shape you have some signal which is in some shape but there can be a change of shape if there is a change of shape we are going to call this as distortion of the signal if there is a loss of amplitude amplitude is decreased then we are going to call it as attenuation of the signal so there can be attenuation and distortion of the signal this light signal when it is propagating to this optical fiber so therefore repeaters are used uh, at specific intervals to regenerate the signal Okay, so as the light signal propagating through this optical fiber, there can be attenuation or distortion. To avoid this attenuation and distortion, we are using repeaters. What are these repeaters are going to generate? These repeaters are going to regenerate the signal at specific intervals. At the end of the fiber, an output coupler directs the light from the fiber onto a semiconductor photodiode, which converts the light signal into electrical signal. So the photo detector converts the light waves into electrical signal which are then amplified and decoded to obtain the message. So the output is fed to a suitable transducer to convert it into the audio or video form. So this is the basically communication diagram which has um, three uh, important components, transmitter, optical fiber and receiver. Okay, so in transmitter um, there, there should be a, there will be a transducer and drive circuit and also a light source. So first audio signal will be converted into electrical signal using transducer. This electrical signal will be uh, converted into light signal using LED in the transmitter. Once you have light signal, that side light signal will be given as input to the optical fiber. Okay, so in optical fiber you are going to have repeaters. So because they can be um, uh, transfer attenuation and distortion. So to avoid these as attenuation and distortion, you are going to use repeaters that will regenerate the signal. Then once you receive this uh, light signal from the, uh, the output end of the optical fiber, then you are going to give as input to the receiver. The receiver is going to have photodiode. Photodiode will convert this uh, light signal into electrical signal. Once you have the electrical signal, you need amplifier to amplify the signal and then there can be a decoder and finally transducer that will convert this electrical signal into audio signal or video signal. Okay, so that is a basically communication block diagram of fiber optic communication system. And then what are the applications of these uh, fiber optic communication system? You can use this optical fiber communication system in local area networks uh, in within a uh, within one to two kilometer range. You can use this optical fiber communication system as a local area network within one to two kilometers to connect from one uh, person to another kind of person. So in LAN, a number of computer terminals are interconnected over a common channel allowing each computer to use data and programs from one another. So if you are going to connect 100 system in a college, they are using LAN, so you can transfer data from one computer to another computer using this um, fiber optic communication system. And second application is long haul communication. So you can use this optical fiber communication system even for over long distances around 10 kilometers or, or more. Okay. So such a um, uh, communication system is also uh, installed in um, connecting six supercomputers in United States of America.
Okay, so I am also going to discuss about the losses and applications of optical fiber. So I have mentioned that there is a distortion and attenuation. So I am going to discuss what is this uh, distortion and attenuation. So as light signal propagates through the fiber, it suffers loss of amplitude and ch change in shape. So loss of amplitude is attenuation as I mentioned and change in shape is distortion. When an optical signal propagates through a fiber, its power decreases exponentially with the distance. As the light signal propagates longer and longer distances, the power will also decrease slowly with the distance. The loss of signal uh, amplitude is also is known as attenuation. Okay. So attenuation of optical signal is defined as the ratio of optical po output power from a fiber of length L to the input optical fiber. So attenuation is nothing but P, uh, attenuation is nothing but L alpha if you define uh, attenuation by alpha so it is in uh, it is de defined as po by pi the output signal uh, output signal of the power of the output signal to the power of the input signal okay so yeah so then from using this equation so this is approximately equal to so using this equation you can uh, uh, derive the output power po as pi into exponential alpha l Right. So, yeah, so if PI is the optical power launched at the input end of the fiber, then PO is the uh, power output power at a distance L down the fiber and it is uh, given by this relation PO is equal to PI into exponential minus alpha L where alpha is the attenuation coefficient. So, alpha is the attenuation coefficient and it is expressed in terms in units of per kilometer. So, taking logarithm on both sides of this equation, take logarithm on this side and take logarithm on this side, okay, write this equation first, PO by PI is equal to exponential minus alpha L and then take logarithm. So, log PO by PI is equal to log of exponential of minus alpha L. So, log of log, natural log of exponential of X is X. So, that is why you will get here as uh, minus alpha L, but um, that you can change this PO by PI as PI by PO then minus will go away. Okay, so by changing logarithm on both sides, what you will get? Log of PO by PI is equal to minus alpha L. Now, I can rewrite this equation, alpha L is equal to log of PI by PO because I have changed the numerator and denominator by removing the uh, minus sign. So, then alpha is equal to 1 by L ln PI by PO. So, that is what I have here. Okay. So, the attenuation coefficient alpha uh, is calculated as 1 by L, natural logarithm of uh, pi by p. Or you can write down this in terms of uh, log to the base 10. You can write in terms of log to the base 10 in units of decibels. Here, it, the units are per kilometers. Okay. Now, I can write in terms of uh, in the units of decibels per kilometer. I can write the attenuation in terms of uh, in the units of decibels uh, per kilometer with 10 by L into log, so log to the base 10, remember this, this is log to the base 10, uh, PI by PO, so this is the attenuation coefficient alpha decibels per kilometer, what is the loss of the signal, okay, the so loss of the signal uh, which is uh, denoted as all attenuation uh, coefficient alpha which is given as 10 by L, L is the distance, log to the base 10, PI by PO, input power of the signal to the output power of the signal. If you have ideal fiber without any loss of the signal, then PI will be become PO. If you do, if you do not have any loss, okay, if you do not have any loss, so this attenuation is 0, exponential of 0 is 1, so the basically you have PO is equal to PI for an opt, our ideal fiber, no losses, there are no losses, then the input power is equal to output power, so that is possible only for ideal fiber with no attenuation and no distortion of the signals okay so there are different types of attenuation you can have intrinsic attenuation that is uh, coming because of the impurities present in the glass or you can have extrinsic attenuation or bending losses that is because of the uh, bending strain effects or refractive index uh, uh, and the critical angle okay Attenuation can be two types, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic is form coming from the impurities present in the optical fiber. Extrinsic is coming from the bending of this optical fiber. Okay. So, that is about uh, attenuation. Or you can have distortion of the signal. So, distortion is nothing but the change in shape of the signal. Okay. In an optical fiber system, the information is coded in the form of discrete pulses of light which are transmitted through the fiber. So, the light pulses are given 
uh, width, it has they have a given width and amplitude and interval. For the information to be retrieved in the detector, it is necessary that optical pulses are well resolved in time. However, light pulses broaden and spread into a wider time interval because of the different times taken by different rays propagating through the fiber. So, this, uh, this phenomenon is known as distortion or pulse dispersion. Okay, see, so this is the signal. So, distortion is nothing but the change of the signal, change in shape of the signal. This is also called as pulse dispersion. So, this is the signal I have a time t1. Now, a time t2, it has become like this. A time t3, see, it has, it has become like this now. It has time t3, it has become like this and time t4, the signal has totally changed in shape. So, this kind of uh, phenomenon with way in which there is a change in shape of the signal is called distortion. Okay. So, now uh, we are going to discuss about uh, different advantages of the optical fiber. So, optical fibers have many advantages and um, the first one is um, and compared to the conducting wires, copper wires. Compared to the copper wires, there are many advantages. The first one, the optical fibers are cheap. They are very cheaper and they are smaller in size and light in weight and flexible, but they are very strong. Okay. Compared to the copper wires, optical fibers are cheaper. Okay. And these are smaller in size compared to the copper wires and light in weight and they are very flex flexible and still they are very strong. They are not hazardous. They are not going to, uh, because, because of the optical fibers, you are not going to get any short circuits, no electrical uh, short circuits. So, there are no, these are not hazardous. Hazardous means they are not going to create any problem. Okay. So, not hazardous, immune to EMI and RFI. There is no, if you use optical fibers in communication system, uh, they are, because of any um, uh, electromagnetic interference or radio frequency interference, because of these electro interference, because of these light signal or um, other signals, there is, these are not going to create any problem. So, Optical fibers are immune to this electromagnetic interference and radio, uh, radio frequency interference. And there is no crosstalk. If you use optical fibers in communication, only the communication is possible between two persons. There is no possibility for the third person to know what is going on between these two persons. So, no crosstalk. Third person will not know what is, what is communicated between two persons. No crosstalk. And wider bandwidth. If you use optical fibers, uh, they, they are going to carry large information. So, they are going to have wider bandwidth and loss of signal is very less. Okay. So, four decibels per uh, kilometer. If you use uh, optical, if you use copper wires, uh, there is going to be more information, right? And you need to use repeaters uh, uh, frequently if you use copper wires. But in, if you use optical fibers, uh, the repeaters are uh, you can use very less repeaters at around 100 kilometers you can use. Okay. So, these are some advantages and disadvantages of the optical fibers is that the installation and maintenance requires some new set of skills. So, that is a disadvantage and it is very less compared to the advantages of the optical fibers. And what are the applications of the optical fibers? So, op optical fibers are used in uh, medical industry. Uh, optical fibers are used in medical industry where uh, these are because of these are very thin and flexible in nature they are used in surgeries and endoscopy of course we know that they are used in communication uh, because of their many uh, advantages of the optical fibers they are also used in defense to, uh, because uh, we need to defense need high level data security uh, because the optical fibers have no crosstalk third person will not know what is going between two person uh, they are used in defense and are also used in uh, industries. Okay, so they are used in industries where um, if uh, there are some hard to reach places, you can use optical fiber because they are very thin. And you can see wh what are the problems uh, that are uh, in automobiles. In automobiles, there is some uh, damage in in the part where you cannot able to see it. So then you can use optical fibers. You can insert the optical fibers and go to the insert uh, to reach the place where you are not able to reach and then you can see or detect the problem what is uh, present. So, that is you present in. Uh, then, optical fibers are also used in broadcasting in different uh, uh, HDTV, CATV and all. Uh, they are used, they are also used in uh, lightning and decorations. In, uh, optical fibers are used in because they transmit and deliver light. So, you can use in lightning and decorations. They are also used in 
mechanical inspections uh, wherever there are some problems you can insert these optical fibers and see for example in uh, pipes there is some damage or problem in pipes then you can insert this optical fiber and detect the damage or problem so so to summarize i have discussed um, about um, applications of the optical fibers and losses and uh, uh, losses of the signal right so what are the losses uh, attenuation and distortion and also i have discussed the advantage advantages of the optical fibers and the disadvantages of the optical fibers so with this i am uh, ending here in the next presentation i have i will discuss about the some numerical problems uh, on optical fibers thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates